Hello, Roll and Mithril here once again. We're nearing the end of Mega Man 5 for Game Boy. Let's see if we can't get Wily all nice and punished, shall we? Here we go. Wait. So Mega Man's new ability in this game is to punch, and the final boss is a giant fist. Who designed this game, Captain Falcon? Yes! Well, yeah, I suppose that would make sense, wouldn't it? So, yeah, whether Wily's controlling these things or not, who knows? We just know we have to blast them. The left hand isn't too tough. All it can do is punch down at you, and then it shakes the floor to try and make it hard for you to jump up and shoot it. That's it. So it's not a hard fight, it's just a drawn out one. Arguably, the right hand fight actually lasts longer. It doesn't stay down on the floor as long, and it can also shoot missiles at you. Oh, one more hit, come on! Return to the sleeve, foul fist thing. Get out of here. So, now for the right hand. Which sounds positively angry. What was that line from Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil 4? Your right hand comes off? <laughs> I loved that game. What are you boying? Alright, let's go. So yes, this one fires homing missiles, can try to pluck you up from the ground, can still try to pound you like that, and also does the floor shaking a little bit, and doesn't stay on the ground as long. With those homing missiles, you want to be sparing with how many bullets you fire, you do not want to get trapped, trust me. You can actually get up to two hits per run if you time it just right. So far I'm only getting one hit per run, but eh, whatever. I'd rather just get past this. It's an incredibly tedious fight. I'm sure you can get more hits on him quickly with things like the Spark Chaser or the Black Hole, maybe. I actually don't know what these things are supposed to be, uh, supposed to be weak to. I haven't done as much research on this as I do with stage levels, so technically I don't even know if the stupid little hand thing actually has its own name. All I know is he's eating a lot of time. So yes, I've only been getting one damage per run, but whatever. Whoa, that was a near thing. There's your close call. I've been timing out four seconds for each time he goes up to the top. It seems to work fairly well. Gives me enough time to safely escape, get rid of the missile. Put some distance between me and the hand. That almost cornered me. Whew. Two more hits, come on. Yeah. 
Go away. Nobody likes you. Hands down, insert your pun here, whatever. Let's just move on to Wiley, shall we? Quick interlude of Pharaoh Man's music for some reason. And here we are. He's in there somewhere. We're gonna have to blast him out. But we can't do it with those missiles, or any of our normal weapons. Or this gravity-affecting thingamy here, which I think is called Pikachu. Not to be confused with the Pokémon. Now here's the ticket. We have to shoot these time bombs back into him to damage him. It's actually pretty fun, though it isn't always that easy. Some of the later bombs have higher count timers on them. And so you have to time it just right to get them to blow up on Wily and not you. For those worried about the spikes up there and not worried about doing a perfect run, don't worry, those are not instant death spikes up there. But still, really, who wants to run into spikes of any kind? Doesn't seem fun to me. Come on, die, will ya? Now this bomb takes a while and can be a bit tricky. There we go. Now of course, whatever you do, never try to jump those bombs. <laughs> they will beat you at jumping. Wily wants a big boom. Now for the final form, which gets a bit harder. There's very little room to jump, but you have to to shoot Wily, and also to dodge his projectiles. Because Wily's become a total bastard and has started channeling Beery Sparks. Once again, no worries about the spikes, they are not instant death. And trust me, it is hard to get just the right level of jumping. Especially when he fires two sparks in a row like that. Whoa, that was close. Oh, bugger, I missed him that time. Come on, almost. Yes! Alright. Oh, I really do not like that fight. But he's escaping. Though we don't actually fight Wily anymore. So actually, this is the end of the vid. I'll just leave you with this uh, rather ominous shot here. He wants us to behold something. We'll see what in the next video. For now, enjoy some outtakes. At first, it just looks like a faster version of the first... Ow, oh, bugger. Oh, that sucked. Ow. Ow, oh, no, no, no. Ah. Yes, I'm timing how long he stays in the air. I fired too many bullets. No! Ah. Now, for those of you not attempting a perfect run, don't worry. They're not instant death spikes. As I just proved, bugger! Ah, yeah, that sucked. Right, so finally we're done with Dr. Wily. Of course, there's still more to go, but we'll worry about that later. For now, what matters is we finish this part of the battle. So, how bad was it? For a Wily stage, or well, a Wily battle anyway, I give this a 5 out of 10. He at least doesn't do the disappearing, reappearing tactic that he's gotten famous for, or infamous, however you feel about it, I suppose. However, he specifically makes it pretty hard to fight him without getting hit, giving you extremely little room to deal with him in that final fight. Uh. The first three forms, I mean, the two fists and the, the tower, they're not really hard to fight. In fact, the tower is actually pretty fun. I enjoyed that fight. 
But that last part where you have to jump the ground sparks and not jump high enough to hit the spikes. Oh, the only thing that would have been worse is if they made it death spikes. So, how did you miss that one? Oh well. So there you have it. 5 out of 10 for Dr. Wily and Mega Man 5 for Game Boy, and we're almost done. Just one battle remains. Next up, we go after Sunstar. Until then, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the next one, and I will see you then. Until then, fare thee well.